lot of planes, I'm just saying. I only have one missile. And it's gonna kill that guy. I am fully aware of this fact. I hope they're done. Freaking, can we finish this mission? Apparently not, I have no missiles. Apparently there's a plane somewhere around here. Also, apparently it's shooting missiles at me. I wish it wasn't. I'm gonna go bomb some stuff, how's that sound? I don't know how this weapon works though. I don't remember. It seems to take forever to do whatever it does there though. Like, what is this doing? And I like take a second pass? Is this a lock-on that just takes four hours to do or what? Do another pass and see if it holds the lock-on amount or whatever it's doing. Because I can only do it at like 800. Hello, dude. No, it doesn't. Oh. That's what this is. Now I remember. I don't know what that lock-on thing does, but... Let's blow up a bunch of more buildings. I could shoot aircraft with this. I don't think that's a good idea, though. Let's do a pass on this. Yeah, there's some weird twitch lag going on. That weapon. So good. Please stop putting planes in the air. I can't shoot you. I have no missiles, but I would like to kill you. How are things going down there? Hopefully good. I would like for them to finish this mission sometime soon. Or for me to get some form of resupply somehow, that'd be great too. This dude, man. I just want to shoot you with a machine gun. Come back. There we go. Got this, guys. Don't worry. You should just surrender, because I have no ammo. Or my allies should blow up these planes around me. That'd be good too. Classic guns dogfight, indeed. The thing that never happens anymore. I didn't blow up any of those, did I? No, I just hurt them. What are we waiting for? Am I supposed to do something here? Or? Good! It's about time to go home, yeah. You didn't blow up really anything in their base, but whatever. Let's see what these guys over here are up to, because those are tanks. Let's see what the tanks are up to. If I had more missiles, yeah. Most of those are gonna miss, yeah. I like how you can just like shoot this thing rapidly, it's great. I still don't know what's up with that lock-on, but whatever. I'll never use it! So who cares? There's a tank right next to that target. Let's not shoot that, shall we? What are the tanks waiting on? Like, the tanks need to get the crap under control. I should try to shoot this plane with this. That's not gonna happen because I can't lock onto it. It'd be pretty sweet if I could. No. Did Chopper get hit? When did Chopper get hit? Chopper, why are you so bad? 
I don't know what that sound is. I still don't know what that sound is. Do I win? I don't have enough missiles for this game. He said I only had to kill so many. <laughs> this this dude lied. Oh, that was the timer? Oh, okay. I never pay attention to that. Why do they have refueling and AWACS over here? Out of curiosity when we're attacking this place. Well, it's a good thing I have no ammunition with which to do this. Where are they at? Below me. I missed. Oh no, I actually hit him with one of them. <laughs> I'm going to use this ammo to do this. It's not going to go well, but I'm going to try. There's one. It's impossible to aim that. Also, I'm nearly dead now. Probably shouldn't have sat there that long when I was nearly dead, but hey. I have to wait for my allies to kill stuff. It'll be ages if I don't try to do this. No, that missed you. Well, I'm completely out of ammo. Yeah, they're fantastic air-to-air -air weapons. I don't know what you're on about. I don't think you need help. I'm just saying, like, if my teammates... Maybe my teammates are out of ammo, because they're not doing very well. I don't know how these planes are doing that kind of maneuver. Missile. I don't have time for missiles, game. Missile. <laughs> if I get hit by another missile, I'm dead. And this mission's long. So luckily, Rosgrease has no missiles. We have no missiles, only Rosgrease has missiles. Ooh, that was close. I have 12 minutes to do this with no missiles. It's pretty hard. And there's a lot of jets around here. Where are the... There's one over here. Let's get them focused. They are the priority target anyway. He's gonna go right past me. That's AWACS, I think. It may be the refueling, actually. I wish I still had my ground attack rockets so I could actually possibly do some form of damage other than machine gun. Sure you can. Don't check it out. This uh, freaking missiles. It's really hard to strafe really big planes for that long when missiles are shooting me. Woo, hello. I killed him. Fantastic aim. <laughs> Best pilot. Where's this big guy at? No, that's Raffaele H. I want this one. He's here somewhere. Is he above me? Is he below me? He's above me. Hello. Missile. I may actually be able to do this, but it's taken a lot longer and it's so much risk of death like every time I try to shoot this thing. Okay, I need to back off. Who needs missiles, infinite bullets? I only have infinite bullets because the difficulty, but missiles are obviously a lot better at this. Plus I could kill some of these jets. 
And I need to stop stalling, but these things are so slow. Someone shot me with a freaking machine gun. I don't have time, machine guns. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Well done, team. I'm nearly dead and I have literally no ammunition, but well done, team. There's the burning wreckage of the plane I shot down. Hooray! That mission took way too long, and I have to land now. I don't have to land, but I'm going to. It always puts me at this weird angle to the airfield. Turn right. No. It wants me to land like a, a 15 or 20 degree angle, which I don't think is how you actually supposed to do that. So I'm going to try and straighten it up. That's how I always remember doing it, is straightening it up first. Miles to touch down. Three miles to your face. You're coming in too fast. Slow down. I'm working on that. You're on the money. You darn right I'm on the money. Landing is easy. It's the refueling that's ridiculously hard. Like refueling is so hard. Clunk. Especially when it does that. Did someone just fly past me? I don't know. It like magnetizes you to the ground when you get close enough in a you're like good, you're, Blaze. you're lined up. Stand by and prepare for your next sortie. Look at my little wingy bits. My wingy bits are flared. Those are my brakes. They're not actually my brakes, but they work well enough. That was exciting, wasn't it? Operation Desert Arrow was a success. You darn right it was. Tabania's field headquarters and the airfield both fell to our forces. The Ocean Army is advancing quickly on all fronts, and enemy forces in the northern part of the Jalachi Desert are on the verge of being annihilated. The ground forces, fresh from securing the Jalachi area of operations, have set off for Kruik Fortress in their quest to liberate Zinegrad. Our ground forces have scored a major victory. If we can destroy the fortress standing in our path, we'll open a road to the capital of Yuktabania. Then we'll storm the heart of the enemy. The heart, he says. The heart. Look at all of that. 27,000 reward for that mission. And I got S rank. I completely ran out of ammunition and got S rank. What? And I almost died, too. Anyway, this plane doesn't actually get any experience, sadly. So the only reason I got a medal because of S rank. I got two medals, actually. Uh. The only reason to use this plane is for its capability. You don't actually get uh, anything out of using it as you would from other aircraft because you don't get any kill experience. Which kind of sucks, but it's a good plane, so... Of course, there are better planes. We just haven't got that far yet. We're holding a peace ceremony at a stadium Oh god, in not this City. one. Our vice president We'll be giving a speech to rally the citizens. Now, uh, you've been asked to do a flyby above the ceremony. Don't screw this up! You should consider this an honor. And do your part to boost citizen morale. This is the vice president we're dealing with here. So consider this a guard detail as well. And be prepared for anything out there. Your mission this time takes place above November International Stadium, a gigantic 70,000-seat arena located in the center of the city of November on the southern coastline of Osea. Vice President Appleruth is giving a speech there, and you will be conducting a flyby above the stadium as part of the production. You can return to base at 1730 hours, the time the speech is scheduled to end. After the flyby, remain in formation and conduct a combat air patrol in and around the stadium until that time. This is a ceremonial flight, but you will be fully armed in case of an emergency. Don't forget to patrol the airspace surrounding the stadium, too. 
I wonder if it's the month of November. What does the city of November do in the month of November at November Stadium? The reason I hate this mission so much is you have to fly in formation, and I'm god-awful at flying in formation. And not just for a little bit, you have to fly in formation for a pretty darn long period of time, so... I really don't like flying in formation. I like... because you're not the front of the formation, so you can't just, you know, fly to points that they tell you to. You have to follow the other people. Which sucks. So we've unlocked the F-35C, which is actually... Pretty good, but it's for boats. Typhoon is actually really good. It's basically the ground or the air to air version of the JAS. So I'll probably be buying as many of these as I can afford. I'm a Maverick. We're gonna sell some stuff and possibly try to buy four of these. We need 84, 86,000 to afford four of those, that's a lot of money, but they're going to completely replace all of our other air-to-air -air anyway, so let's get rid of all our other air-to-air. -air. Although, again, it doesn't get any experience, but the first playthrough, I don't care about experience. I'm probably going to sell all four of these. I'm not doing a second playthrough, by the way, if anyone's curious. But if you would do a second playthrough, that would be when you're worrying about the uh, kill experience. Yeah, let's sell off all four of those. That gives us enough to buy all four of them, and then we'll have a full flight of really good air-to-air planes. And when I say really good, I do mean really good. Typhoons are great. I'm sorry, not typhoons. Uh, is it typhoon? Yeah, it is typhoon. 86 speed, 85 mobility, 69 stability, which is kind of low. Defense is kind of low. Air to air is 81, or sorry, 91, because it has those multi rockets, which are really good. Anyway, that should be enough to buy four. Just barely. And now we're poor! With new planes, though, but we're still poor. I should have saved! I didn't. Let's actually back out of this whenever he lets me. So I can go save before we do this mission 74 times. Sleepy, you're supposed to stay in formation, you dangleberry. We've actually flown for two, almost three hours. That's a lot of flight time. Well, it's not really all that much flight time, but you know what I mean. Yeah, we, know, we need no air to ground, so... Everyone gets a typhoon. Captain. Which plane am I going up in, Captain? And I don't think we... St I still don't think we have any uh, camo skins or anything. No, we can only get the Oshia camo, camo color. Captain, which plane should I use? The typhoon. That one. Our air-to-air -air and air-to-ground is really high for whatever reason, but our air-to-air -air is through the freaking roof, which makes me happy. Well, Look at that. We look like an actual flight group. It's great, rather than just a random mash of planes in a group here. See you, Cuba. The demon soars through the not so very dark sky. I'm proud to be able to fly like this. Plus, it makes it easier when everyone has the same plane. Flight. Watch your manners, kid. Everyone, form up and don't stray apart from each other. Okay, Blaze. Okay, Blaze. Yes. Great. Let's begin. I should have said no. Hopefully they just fly at default speed, which I think they do, but I can't remember quite. It's time. Begin your ceremonial flight. It looks like they just fly at a set speed at each point rather than the actual speed of the plane. Also, we do that a lot, so prepare to go up and then immediately back down for no reason. Woo. It does have great music, though, so I'll actually shut up here. Captain, you're falling out of formation. Blaze, hold the center of the formation. We should be able to cram together. 
together a little closer. I didn't fail. That's surprising given how hard I suck at that last maneuver. I actually almost screwed that last one up. Which wouldn't be the first time I've screwed doing that up. You're also supposed to uh, spin the plane when you go over, but I failed. Best singer, 2013. Hey, they want to get along with the enemy too, right? Man, this song's got soul. I can't believe I actually turned the right direction. Hooray! Approaching enemy formation confirmed. Time to murder some dudes in air to air. You're dead. We have ridiculous air to air capabilities, so this shouldn't be an issue. It'll probably be an issue, but it shouldn't be. Crashed on takeoff. How do you manage to do that? Su 37, their Su 27s are also pretty good. Plus, you get some sweet, like, rock music in the background. Probably think it's a show. Indeed! Can't you see the freaking explosions above you? That's a pretty good sign. I also do like how they're actually singing in the background. <laughs> Your speech sucks! Time to kill you. Just missile it, whatever. It's a showing. We do have to protect the, uh, that was the riskiest way I could have done it. Protect the stadium, but I don't think they focused the stadium too much. How did that miss? What kind of crap was that? Missiles, do your job. You only had one job, missile. One job. Has begun. Oh, they have typhoons as well, do they? Except they're AI, so. Actually, set them to straight up start firing off those special weapons. 
because they are really good special weapons. I can actually show the special weapon to you. I won't use it, but you can multi-lock up to four aircraft, and usually one or two missiles will kill an aircraft. Usually one if it's just a fighter. Hi. How you doing, buddy? So you can kill an entire freaking <laughs> flight of aircraft if you, head, if you get them head-on like I usually do, like this. Which obviously is pretty darn powerful. I don't think we're being sacrificed, don't worry about it. And I think a lot of the higher end uh, interceptor style aircraft do actually have that weapon, which is pretty useful. That was bad. Sir! I maneuver better than you, MIG. Do not even try. I don't maneuver better than that missile, though. Whoever's on my back firing missiles on me. Someone needs to deal with that. Because I would prefer they not do that. The whole missile thing. Probably these typhoons that show up. Warmongers? Also, I think this is... I believe this is the start of, like, the main story twist, if you want to call it that. They're not close at all, but I'll just say that anyway. I believe this is when the main kind of story twist begins. It's not really a story twist, but we'll roll with that anyway. I can't get this guy. Escape slides? I've never been on an escape slide. I imagine that's kind of fun. Minus the whole everything's exploding and people are screaming, but other than that, it's a slide. I like slides. Hi, Tuzan. That was a waste of this one. And there's 8492nd, by the way. As a plane almost hit. That is the flight that doesn't exist. Guess what we get to do? Poor AWACS. And my camera cut out. There we go. Not my camera, my uh, monitor. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Still haven't fixed it. 8492nd is like the main thing with the plot, so the fact that they pop up in this mission is a good hint. If you recall, 8492nd doesn't exist. This guy isn't sanitized, I like how he said that. So just, you know, they don't exist. And choppers hit. Everyone's going down. I'm running out of missiles again. I use missiles a little bit too much, but hey. I like missiles, they're my favorite. No, they're not imagination, they just don't exist in the ocean uh, forces. They exist.